try talking again. This is a sound test. Can we hear now? How is it going over there, Brooke? We're good to go? Okay, I think we're good. Ooh, it yeah. sounds like our sound is on. Okay, I'm going to start all the way over. Awesome. Okay, so let's start, shake it off, and we're going to start all over from the beginning. So welcome, everybody, to our Watch and Stitch Tuesday. I'm Lauren. I'm your educator. I am so glad you all are joining us today, and we are just about ready to finish our fourth and final block of our tile scene. Now this is the first time that we've, since we started Watch and Stitch, that we've done almost like a stitch along where you stitch each block every week with us. And then at the end, we're going to show you how to back and bind. Now I feel very lucky because not only do I get to stitch the last block with you, but it includes Mylar, which is my favorite. I love using Mylar. It makes it really shiny and bright. So I'm gonna show you what I showed before which is the four blocks, okay? We have the two top blocks, and then we have our scarf. And then today, what we're stitching is our Mr. Snowman. Now, we're stitching in different colors, okay? We have kind of a lighter blue, a different scarf color, and we love to do this separate from our tutorials because we like to give you different ideas of how you can change your fabrics around, how you can change your thread colors around and really make it your own. So with that being said, I want to get stitching. We can talk all that we like through this right now, but let us start. So if this is the first block you're stitching live, we are starting with our piece of no-show mesh stabilizer. I already have a thread color hooped and I'm gonna start with the squaring stitch. Now the squaring stitch within our quilting is gonna show you where your quilt block is going to be stitched in your hoop. And then it's also gonna show you how big your fabrics and your materials need to be as well. And for this project, we are stitching our A size block, which is our eight by eight block. So there are varying sizes that you can choose from. We have our A through D size. So if you do have hoop require uh, restrictions, if you as long as you have a five by five hoop or larger, you too can participate in this. All right, our next step is going to be taking a piece of our batting and placing it down here. All right. Now we're going to cover all areas all parts of that placement stitch so that our batting can tack down in place. So now the next step is to run our tack down stitch. It's gonna tack the batting down. I always like it when it's nice and tight, so I'm gonna help guide it through. Now I have to shout out all of my friends that I was just spent my weekend with at Mall Queens. So hello my Mall Queens friends. I was just out last weekend teaching one of our in-person events in Phoenix, uh, outside of Phoenix, Arizona. And I know we have some of our friends that watch every Tuesday and I promised I would say hello. So hello. And hello to everybody else. I hope you're having a terrific Tuesday today. What better way to start our week than with something we love, our embroidery. Now watch and stitch is something that we come out with every single month. It's a new set of designs that help to teach you how we do things here to need a good design. You get to do exactly this stitch live with one of the educators. And of course, if you can't make a class live, if you miss it, you have something more important to do, then what you can do is just watch it on YouTube. Now what I'm doing right now, let me show you, is uh, my batting is, is tacked down in place and I, all I'm doing is trimming my batting off tight to that tack down line. And that is going to help us ensure that you do not have any batting in your seam allowances when it comes time to putting your blocks together. 
That is a not good thing. The hand of your quilt will feel very off if you have batting in the seams. So it will be, just, it will just be lovely once it's all done. Okay, so now my batting is trimmed. And then what I'm gonna do is cut my, or place my base fabric. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I wanna place my base fabric. Now, when you're cutting your base fabric for your quilt blocks, and this pretty much is any quilt block without a border on it, you wanna trim it or cut your, measure it so there's a half inch seam allowance all the way around. So that way it's an easy way for you to figure out and pre-cut your fabrics if you choose to do so. So we like a half an inch all the way around. So if we have an eight by eight square that we're stitching, we are going to, let me change my thread. If we have an eight by eight block that we're stitching, we are going to make sure we cut our base fabric nine by nine. That will ensure that you have that half inch all the way around. Now, something that's important, I'm changing my thread color to match my base color, base fabric on purpose because when it comes time, especially with a tile scene, to put your quilt blocks together, you wanna make sure that your thread matches that base fabric as close as possible. And that helps to, um, when, when you are putting your blocks together, that if you had like this color of fabric and you used black thread or a navy thread, if you had to kind of finagle and move your blocks around uh, to make the tile scene work, you, you wouldn't want to have to then pick out those thread colors because you have this dark black thread peeping through. So close as possible is always best practice here. All right. So that tack down stitch is gonna go all the way back around. And that's something that's really nice with how we do our tack down stitches here in Anita is they're always gonna go around twice for you to ensure that that fabric or applique is nice and tightly tacked down. So it'll go around one time and then come back again another. I am just so excited that you all have been joining us each and every week. The turnout has been absolutely fantastic, which really tells us that you are loving kind of our sew along format where um, we are creating a project using more than one block. All right, so my next step, I am on step four, is my stippling. All right, so I'm gonna keep going because you always want your stippling again, just like your tack down stitch, it should match your fabric. And because this is a tile scene, it's going to be imperative that your, your threads match from block to block. Because in this block that we made already, you can see there's a color thread for the stippling that matches the fabric. Now, if on my new block I made, used a navy stippling, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't coordinate when it came time to putting those blocks together. All right, do we have any questions so far, Miss Brooke? No, no questions? Okay, feel free if you have any questions about the tile scene, about anything with Anita Good Design, now is your time to go ahead and ask. I don't mind answering anything that I can. Mm. Uh, I know, let's talk a little bit about some Mylar, okay? So we get a lot of questions about Mylar and what, what it is and how you use it. So Mylar is a material that we love to use. It's very shiny. Um, and it is exactly what you're thinking of when you think of the Mylar balloons. So we have a lot of customers that have told us that they go to the Dollar Tree store, buy the Mylar balloons, cut them up, and use those in their projects. And I say, go for it. I love the Dollar Tree, right? I love those dollar stores. You can get a lot of great things in them, including Mylar balloons. Now, as always, we love to support our local dealers. So make sure you do check with your dealer and see, because they may supply or sell Mylar there right at their store. Comes in all different forms of colors, different sizes you can get. Now I will say that some Mylar is made to be laundered or waterproof. So if you're, you're wanting to use Mylar on clothing and things like that, you do wanna make sure that you're buying that kind of Mylar that can be treated as such. So that's the only time you wouldn't wanna use your Dollar Tree Mylar. And of course, our snowman is gonna be so shiny and bright. Look at him there. 
So cute. I love it. Getting festive for the winter. And it is July. You know we love Christmas in July here at Anita Good Design, which is why we're, we're stitching out this winter wonderland tile scene. Uh, but don't forget to hop on our website when you are finished and snag up some of those amazing Christmas in July sales that we have going on right now as well. Okay, let's see. This is going to take probably another minute or so. It's just stitchy long. Forgive me, I know I sound a little raspy today. I had a case of the laryngitis this weekend and lost my voice, yes, while teaching a class. So I have some cough drops with me. I have my hot tea with me. So while I, while I never normally am on screen with any of these things, it is safety first and better for you all at home if I have my cough drops and my hot tea with me. All right, let's do a giveaway. I think it's a good time for that as the stitch is out. So I need you to type the word snow and at random we will choose a winner to get a $20 gift card from here, from us here at Anita Good Design. So if you type the word snow, because it's hot, it's hot everywhere right now and we need a cool down, at least I feel that way. So I'm ready for cooler times. And when I say cooler times, I mean 75 and sunny. But we will type the word snow and somebody will win a prize. And while you all do that, I'm changing my thread color. Okay, my next stitch is going to be the little tree, the little pine tree in the corner over there. Okay. And one more minute, and then we are going to have a winner chosen. So make sure you get your snow word in you believe it I can't even believe it like summer's already coming to an end we're almost in August it's not really ending but I feel like when it hits August it's, it's just the downward spiral from there right my teachers are getting ready to go back to work in a couple weeks the students go back to school Woof. all this fun Oh, we have a winner. Miss Joanne Stevens, you are the lucky winner, my friend, of a $20 gift card from Anita Good Design. If you will email us at customer experience at anita-gooddesign.com, we will get that to you. Okay. Congratulations, what a wonderful time to win a gift card with all these spectacular sales going on here at the AGD. We have lots of great stuff. Speaking of sales, let's talk about this week's flash sale. Ooh, we know you're like all into the tile scenes right now. We've inspired you. And I have this amazing tile scene that helps if I hold it the right side up. And it is called butterfly vignette and it is beautiful now we used crushed velvet here for this project by no means do you have to use that you can use your cottons this goes to again goes to the fact that we love to just give you ideas of what you can use and then you change it to make it your own okay uh, oftentimes I hear people when I'm traveling around and teaching they'll say oh I really liked that that collection but I just don't like purple and then I'll tell them we'll just stitch it in blue and then you'll love the collection even more so if you don't like the idea of velvet or you don't like the green background like we use in the pink butterfly then make it your own but this is a collection that is normally $34.95 it is 50% off as I mentioned as our flash sale item and so only $17, it is a nine block tile scene. Again, it's gonna come in multiple sizes for you as well. So hopefully it works with your hoop, okay, and your machine. But oh, 
how beautiful this is and great for spring and summer, which we are in right now. We are in the summertime, okay? Flash sale though, 50% off. So it's always a good time, not only to stitch with us, but to see different collections that we have here, different things that we can make and that you can make at home, and then grab those collections at such a huge discount. All right, so we are stitching at this point kind of the ground decor, uh, the ground designs, ground accents, my tutorial writers told me, ground accents. So we are using like a navy color for this, some snowflakes, it looks really beautiful. And then what's coming next are snowflakes on the background. So we are going to stitch this out. Miss Brooke, we have a question. Oh. About your flash sale. oh, two questions about my flash sale. Ask away. Is all the applique crushed velvet? The applique for the butterfly is not. We did not use velvet for that. The velvet is only used for the background. Okay. And was this design ever in all And was it ever in all access? It was. It This original, oh my goodness. This collection was originally released in our June 2019 All Access. So if you were an All Access member way back then, just joking, but if you were an All Access member then in 2019, June of 19, then you will have this one. So don't, don't buy it again, because I always tell people, if you like it once, you will buy it twice. So just go into your all access and dig it out because it really is a great one. And only nine blocks. So it's like a step up from this one. So you learn how to do your tile scene if you've never done it before with your four blocks. And then the butterfly vignette is nine blocks. So then you can do that one. And then your next project can be a 12 or a 16 block. And then, you know, in a blink of eye, you're making the last supper, which is a 20 block tile scene. So, I mean, you all can do it. Sometimes you just need the motivation. Sometimes you just need someone to say, you can do it, and I'm here to tell you, you can do it. If we can do it here and need a good design, you can do it too. We all learn the same way. We all learned using Steve Wilson, our owner and founder's directions. We use the Fundamentals book and the Nita's Universities to learn how to machine embroider. And that's really our training process here when we start at Anita Good Design is exactly what you all do. You pick up our books, you read our directions, and it is trial and error. And that's really how we all train here. Okay, we are moving on to our hands. All right, so 745. Miss Brooke, do we have a brown somewhere? Oh, oops. Oops, she says. Brooke's in big trouble. I'm just joking. There it is. Normally I would just use something else, but because we need it to look exactly like it's supposed to and make sure our colors carry from block to block, I am not picking up just anything because I'm a big fan of just supplementing what I can. All right, here we go. So these are the arms for our snowman, little twig arms here. Cute, cute, cute. So keep coming with the questions. If you have any questions on this technique, whether it's tile scenes, whether it is um, mylar or applique or anything on the flash sale, please ask away. I do not mind answering them as long as I have an answer for you, okay? <clears throat> now, something that's extra special, not only have we had each week a new block that we're stitching, but this Thursday, Brooke is going to, uh, we're having like a bonus watch and stitch, and Brooke is gonna show you how to back and how to bind your tile scene, which is obviously a really impart, important part of your tile scene or any quilt. And so backing and binding, she's going to go over with you, and you can use those techniques to finish off any quilt. But she's also gonna show you how we attach our blocks for a tile scene and elements to look for um, so that it lines up and, and Brooke has been doing a fantastic job with our quilting here So she is a great resource now because that is an extra special class 
kind of above and beyond and because it's really important for our um, customers to kind of learn how to do that I just want to let you know because I, we always like to be transparent that is going to be one class that we just don't have um, kind of prizes or giveaways because we want Brooke to be very focused and we want her to be very clear about how she is showing you all the backing and binding so it's going to be you know really more instructional and not quite as like fun per se and now what's the right word what's the there's just we don't want any distractions for you all okay so that that i just like to tell everybody all right so now we have a placement stitch for our snowman okay and then we are placing our mylar so fun how how's everyone doing over there brooke okay i do have a couple questions we have some questions Okay, so there is a question about our thread colors and how they transfer. So when you're looking at thread colors, I always tell people not to look at their machines for our thread colors because how your machine is programmed, which thread is programmed within your machine to show it is really going to be dependent, okay? So I always tell people to not look at the machine for your thread colors. And if you're someone who needs that visual, you, prior to stitching it out, have to go in and program those threads. So you would program Floriani, you would then program each color so that you could see exactly the color on the screen that you're using. Now, we typically, and I need a good design, are use Floriani thread, okay? So if you are looking for, um, the same thread color but in a different brand what I recommend you doing is googling the charts and there's tons of charts that are free on the website um, and they will give you uh, Floriani their conversion charts so what the thread color is in Floriani in a different brand and that way you can kind of piece together if you have all different types of brands you can piece together your designs okay now this is my mylar Again, we're using this just like a regular applique, so I'm going to place it right on top of my placement stitches because now I know exactly where to place that. And then we're going to run our tack down stitch. And I'm cheating a little bit here. I am holding it down. Best practice as always. I will always tell you to tape your products, your appliques down in place. Um, but with Mylar, sometimes I just don't like it. Sometimes it rips it. All right, what other questions can I answer, Brooke? Was there more than one question or no? Uh, someone let us know how do they know if the, um, your slash down would be compatible with the Viking? So we, the question was, how do we know if the flash sale item is compatible with a Viking? So what I will tell you, is that we digitize and for almost any type of machine. Um, so you don't have to worry about if those designs will work or are compatible with your machine. That comes on every single collection. Uh, so you will, you will be all set, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. Um, and when you order our designs, you just get all file formats. So that way, if you have a certain brand type of machine today, and in five years you decide to buy a different machine brand, then your designs will work on any type of machine. So you'll be fine with that. So that's a wonderful, wonderful question. The thing you do have to think about or plan for when it comes to purchasing designs is to make sure that you have a hoop size that fits your are our designs and you can look on our website when you go to buy those products at the very bottom when you cl click on a certain design collection and you scroll down a little bit it'll say to you a minimum hoop size of and so that's really what you need to look for is does your hoop size fit and will it work all right so what we're doing here going back to our design i'll answer more questions so keep as asking your questions because brooke when i shout out to her she will um, tell me what 
what you're asking, okay? But I do wanna kinda of talk about this really quickly. So when you're looking down here at the hoop, with a typical applique, you're gonna always have a placement stitch that shows you where you're placing your applique, you place your applique, and then it tacks it down. So that's exactly what we did here with our mylar. Now mylar requires an extra special step, and that step is what I call a fill-in tack down stitch. So it tacked it down on the outside like a normal tack down would. And then with mylar, it requires this stitch that goes on top of it to hold it down in place. Mylar is very fragile and it can tear, it can rip, um, and so therefore you want something that holds it down in place. Now the best part about mylar is even though you're adding those stitches on top, it is going to still be very shiny and very fun and you can tell it's a different type of material. Uh, so that's what's really nice. Now I'm also using a thread color that matches my silver um, mylar, but if you use a different thread color, what's really nice is that the mylar tends to pick up the color of thread that you use. So if you only have silver at home, but you are making a scarf out of it and you want the scarf to be red or blue, if you use that thread color on top of the silver, it really tends to shine and take on the red or the blue or whatever color you're using. So it makes it really nice. All right, we are almost done here. Any other questions? Okay. So I previously talked a little bit about Mylar in general. Some mylar you absolutely can launder. You just need to get that type of mylar. Not all mylar is created equal. So if you're using mylar on like a card or a bag, something that you're not going to launder, you can use regular mylar. If you're planning on using it on a shirt or something that you would want to launder, then you need to find that kind of, of mylar. Oftentimes your, um, Dealers, your local machine dealer who sells fabrics will have specialty mylar there for you. You can, of course, always order it online as well, um, but we love to just kick back to the dealers first to double check and make sure um, so we can support them first, always. Um, now, places that I suggest you check out is the Dollar Tree because a lot of times they have the Mylar balloons or the dollar store, it doesn't have to be a Dollar Tree. And Mylar applique that we're using is the same exact thing that you would find in a Mylar balloon and they will have all different colors. They might even have little sayings on their balloons that you can kind of cut up and use. So check out your local dollar store and see if they have some Mylar balloons and you can cut those up and add those into your designs but just know that is the kind that cannot be laundered or is not waterproof per se. All right, so I just trimmed up my Mylar. Let me show you what this looks like really quickly. And what's really nice with Mylar is it kind of just pulls right off from your design, but look at it, it's already looking fantastic. Right, my little Frosty, he's looking good and shimmery. Okay, so the next step is gonna be the satin stitch. This is the outline of my Mr. Snowman. I am on step 12, so let's run him. Is there still more questions? Yeah, somebody um, is new to Anita. And yeah. like to oh, you're new to Anita and you wanna know what All Access is. So All Access is a monthly um, set of designs, new set of designs that will come to you um, and you sign up for this membership. It's 12 months long and you get a beautiful book, whether it's in physical format, meaning you get the magazine each month or the book each month, or you get the PDF version of the book. And with that book, you get all of the designs from standard releases and large releases that come out in a month. And what we do for our All Access members is we discount those designs. So our designs are anywhere from, typically from $10 a set of designs, anywhere up to $100 for a design collection. Uh, each month we release typically 
I would say about seven or eight new collections every single month. And so what we do is we discount those collections, our retail value down 80%. And so you can sign up for this membership. And again, you get all of our latest and greatest standard releases and large releases in your all access magazine that have the printed directions. It has step-by-step -step pictures in it. Um, lots of tips and tricks, educational content piece in there as well. Our all access members get bonus designs every few months as well. So it's just really fun to be part of the all access. It helps to build your library of designs as well. So lots of fantastic things, which is why we have tons and tons of all access members because it just guarantees you new designs every single month and you don't have to like kind of think about it or pick certain ones, it just, you get, you get all the standard releases and large releases. So it's really fantastic. Anything new, anything else, Miss Brooke? Yes. Um, Why did I wait to trim out the Mylar? So when I, um, I'm assuming you mean that fill stitch that yeah, comes in. Yes, so because that fill stitch comes on top of the Mylar, there, if I trimmed it ahead of time, there's an opportunity when that fill stitch comes on top of it where it can flake or it can pull and then you're going to see parts of the base fabric peeking through. So I just, what you need to kind of get in your head or what I do, when I think about that, that specialty tack down stitch is it's almost, even though it's its own step, it's part of the tack down stitch. So just like you wouldn't, you wouldn't trim your fabric before a tack down stitch. So that's how I think about that. It's it's almost not like a decorative stitch, it's a tack down. It's made to hold down that fabric in place. And like I mentioned, you just don't want those opportunities of flaking or pulling and then you see, you know, you have this beautiful shiny silver uh, mylar applique and then you, you have a part where this blue background's pe peeking through. That's a lovely, these are like lovely questions. We have a great group today, not that I, think my other groups aren't great, but I love it. I love it. Please forgive me. I'm going to put my cough drop in. Okay. Do we have more questions, Brooke? Yeah. Is there anything that's excluded from the all access? So our exclusions for all access are really anything that's from our education uh, that is a whole different kind of what I call a department or umbrella here to need a good design. So anything that is educational, anything that is specialty from Stephen Wilson, our signature series is not included. Um, pretty much anything that is like a specialty item. So something that we come out with once, um, like we have a new Christmas, what is the Christmas catalog called? Our Christmas Greatest Hits. Christmas Greatest Hits. That is a specialty item. We will just release it one time, um, and then that will be kind of it with that. So anything that's specialty like that, um, and then the sewing singles are its own kind of department as well. It really is kind of like a set of designs um, that aren't really connected to our All Access. So as I had mentioned, our All Access members receive all of our standard releases and large releases. So it's our special editions, our fulls, our minis, it's our quilting collections, embroidery collections, and projects. So you, you get, like I mentioned, I think it's anywhere from eight to 12 collections each month. They're never repeated. They're always new collections too. So you, um, helps look at, I'm talking so much, I forgot to thread my needle. Um, but you, you get a lot, it's a lot of designs. It's hundreds upon thousands of designs that you receive each month. So you get a ton, you really do. Good questions, good questions. All right, so we are running a placement stitch for our scarf. We are on step 18 here, so we are chugging along. Gosh, this is going by so quickly. I love it. All right. Now we're using all different types of textured fabrics here. Yes, we have our Mylar, which is our snowman, we have our cotton, which is our base fabric, and now we are bringing in a piece of felt to um, use for the applique of the scarf. 
and I am someone personally that loves different textures all within the same project. It just makes a really big difference. I think it's a way to bring the eye kind of towards your project, but it, uh, you know, it makes it not too busy. Sometimes if you use patterns upon patterns upon patterns, it ends up looking very busy and there's a lot going on. Uh, but yeah, this is what I love to do. So lots of different textures here. All right. So now we're going back to trimming. Let's take our block out. They're not out, just out of the machine. This is what we have so far. So I'm going to trim very close to my tack down stitch. Again, just be mindful that my mylar is down there too when you go over your snowman. Okay, I hope everybody's trimming with me. And you're concentrating as hard as I am. All right, here we go. So here is my trimmed scarf. Now I'm going to put him back in and we are going to run his satin stitch for the scarf. Make sure I'm reading the right thing here. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So just a reminder, we do have our flash sale item. Let me hold it up again. It seems to, people had lots of great questions about this and really enjoyed this. This is our butterfly vignette. It is a nine block tile scene. Again, here we used a velvet to make this. You do not need to do that at home. We just wanted to add a little bit of a different look to this um, tile scene. It's nine blocks, originally released in June of 2019. It does come in multiple sizes, so hopefully there is a size that will work for your hooping. Regularly $34.95, on sale for $17 until the end of the week. So I always like to remind you, don't wait until the end of the week to buy this. Do it right after we wrap up here so that way you don't forget because then you will miss that beautiful opportunity to have this amazing tile scene. And I really do believe that this is a great next step project. Once you watch Thursday with Brooke and you learn how to back bind and put those tile scenes together, I think this nine block tile scene is going to be perfect for you. And again, you do not need to use the velvet. You can use any fabric that you'd like. And then don't forget, Brooke will be on Thursday, same time, correct, Brooke? 1.30 on Thursday? 1.30 on Thursday to teach you all things tile seeds, how to take those four blocks you've been working on each week, and then uh, putting them together. So I'm excited for you all. I know some of you have never done this before, and it's something you've always wanted to do. So I'm excited to see how everything wraps up and finishes off for you. Now, don't forget, we are part of the social media crew these days. So any participation with us is always beneficial. So please like this video, hit the thumbs up if you're having a great time. Anytime you see one of our posts on social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, or we pop up a new video, if you would just comment it, even if it's, hey guys, love it, miss you, anything like that, and you hit those thumbs up, it helps us more than you know, okay? So we appreciate it. We love when you all join us. We love when you look at our posts online, but always hit that like button and leave us a little love message underneath it in the comments when you can as well okay i know and who knows all these things we're learning so much about social media and business within social media and there's all these formulas and things that happen somewhere out in it universe more than i'm really understand but 
What I do know is that when you like our stuff and when you comment when you can, it, it helps. So we appreciate that. Thank you so much. And of course, keep joining us for our watch and stitch. I believe our new August watch and stitch is, is it out yet, Brooke, the new watch and stitch for them to get their hands on? We're gonna double check and let you know. If it's not out yet, it's gonna be out very, very soon because next week is August. Holy cannolis. Not yet. Okay, so it's not out yet, but watch and stitch, the new August watch and stitch will be out very soon. So make sure you stay tuned so you can purchase that and join us going into the summer. Uh oh, it looks like my thread broke. Let's try it again. Here we go. There we go. All right. Let's see if you have any other questions. Brooke, do we have any other good questions being asked? We are looking. Nothing yet. Okay. The PDF printout. These are the directions that come with your watch and stitch. And I love the numbered steps. This is my way to go. I need the organization. And what's great with our numbered steps is they tell you every single thing that you need to do in order to complete your project. So when I'm looking, I'm gonna go right back up to step one and just read a couple things to you. When I'm looking at my steps, step one says you're squaring stitch. Then place your batting. Step two is your tack down stitch then trim batting, then place your base fabric. So your numbered steps or machine steps, these will tell you every single thing you need to do to be successful um, with your projects. And that's why I love the machine steps. These are always the way to go. So that's what I'm following. Now we have the pictured step, and this comes with your, with your collection, with your watch and stitch. We just printed them out, okay? And then you have your number or your pictured steps that are involved as well. These are what I call just like a visual reference. These are going to tell you everything you need to do, like your, your numbered steps do, but they're a great visual reference if you're like, ooh, I'm struggling a little bit. What is this supposed to look like? That's, that's how your pictured steps work. Okay. So Thursday's class with Brooke, is going to be the same place, just, or same place. Yes, here at Anita Good Design, you'll be at the same place. Uh, but same time, it is going to be um, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, 16. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, 16 is going to be... I believe, nope, okay, it's our gold, it's our gold, all right, so now we're adding our little ends to our scarf as well and we're using some gold here to really make it pop all right while we do this how about we give another Prize, another giveaway for a gift card. Let's use the word Mylar. M Y L A R, Mylar. Type the word Mylar for a chance to win a $20 gift card to Anita Good Design. Type, type, type. Mylar is the word.
Okay, going back to my red. Brooke, are we close to a winner? Yes, we have one. We have a winner. Awesome. Who is it, Brooke? Robin Rose, you are our winner of our $20 gift card. If you would please email us at customer experience at anita-gooddesign.com and we are sure to get you that gift card so you can pick up our your flash sale item, the butterfly vignette. I'm excited for you. Congratulations. All right, so we are on step 17 right now. It is the end of the scarf. The next is going to be the hat, the eyes, and the mouth. And we are gonna do that with a black, a dark blue. There it is. Oh, I'm just loving our little snowman. He's so cute. 